Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got a great one for you today. We've got a free plugin that enables you to create a cool typing effect. Fantastic for little hero sections or titles. And again, because it's animated, it's going to get people's eyeballs on whatever it is you want them to look at really quickly, which is just what you want with the website. So let me take you through it. So here we have our site, as you can see, we've got a bit of typing going on in our little hero section there. Build your website the easy way with Divi. It's going to stay there for a few seconds, then it's going to back type and start all over again. That's a really eye-catching thing to have on your site. We're going to use a free plugin for this today. Divi Supreme Modules Lite version. Divi Supreme Modules is one of my favorite of the plugins. And I've got a playlist for that as well as for the light modules. I'll put this URL down below. We click on it. That will take us to this page here and it'll tell you all about it. There's 20 free Divi modules that you get, two premium extensions, and they've got 100,000 plus active installations. When you're ready, hit the get started. It'll take you to this page where you can download it. As you can see, mine's downloading to my browser here. Once you've got it, go back to your site, go down to your dashboard, go down to your plugins, hit the add new plugin, hit the upload plugin button, and you can hit the choose file button there to browse to it, or if you've got it down here, you can just drag it up there. I'm not gonna install mine because I've already got mine installed already. Once you've got, got it installed, just hit activate. And once it's installed and activated, we can start building. Let's add a new page. Now, once you've got this free plugin installed and activated, there are 20 other modules, a couple of extensions and a few things you can play around with. And it's a really great free modules. DB Supreme Pro is one of my absolute favorites. I've got a whole playlist on that. But I've also got a whole playlist on this light version of it. And I would recommend that you check it out. So I'll put that playlist down below if you're interested in it. And for a free plugin, it's got some really nice features to it. So let's get back to the build. Call yours what you want. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. I'm going to put a single column in my section. And if we roll down here, all the ones in blue there are the free modules that you get with Divi Supreme's light. I'm going to use the typing module today. And as you can see, it's already set off typing something for us there. It's the generic text that they got there. If you want to, you can put something in before and have it just type after what you've got in your before there. You can also have your typing on a new line. And you can also have something after it if you want to. And again, if you want to put that on a new line, you can pop it down there. And you've just got the typing text in the middle there. If we look at our typing options you've got loop and if you turn that off you can remove the car cursor after it's stopped there keep that looping you can set the speed in milliseconds that it types at and the back speed in milliseconds and you can also have a delay when it stops and if it doesn't go up high enough for you you can just type in your own value so Let's keep it there for three seconds after it's finished there. You can use a fade out. And you can use a shuffle. Let's put in our own text up here. And if you want to, you can separate the words with pipes. So I'll say Divi. Supreme, light, 
I'll put a pipe in there. It will say free plugin. And we'll put another pipe in there. And we'll say 20 modules. Whatever you want to put in yours. And you can see it's alternating between the free plugin. It'll say 20 modules next. And after that, it'll say Divi Supreme Modules Lite. And that's pretty cool right there. Back to the typing options. If it's doing it too quickly, you can slow it down some. I quite liked it. Fairly quick like that. And as with everything Divi, if you don't like what you've done, delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. The speed that it comes back, you can edit right there. Again, I'm fairly happy with that. And we've set the delay. As you can see when it gets to the end there. It's waiting about three seconds. Perfect. You'll notice if you turn the fade out off, it'll back type like that. Great. Or you can choose what cursor character you want for yours right there. I'm happy with that little pipe. That seems to work quite nice, but you can put in anything you want. Viewport animation's fine for me. Don't want to link it to anywhere. Don't want to really put a background in it at the moment. Let's go over to our design. Oh, we've got our main text. Let's make that semi bold, perhaps. And we'll make it blue in color. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We can do the before and after text separately if we want to. Down below, we've got the four before text. You can give the before text a background color if you want to. I'm going to leave that off at the moment. And the actual color itself, let's just make that black. And you can do exactly the same for the after text. Again, I'm not going to give it a black background color, but I will give it, make it black also. Fantastic. If we go back to our typing text now, close that up. We look in typing styles. We can change the cursor color. If you don't want a cursor at all, you can make it transparent. It'll just have those, the writing in there. I'm happy for it to be the way it was. You can also give it a background color. I quite like the background color. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'll have it a little bit opaque so we can see anything behind it a little bit. And you can also give it a bit of padding. Looks like we're all right top and bottom. Need a little bit left and right there. Let's add 20 pixels left, 20 pixels right. That's great. And if we want to add some line height, we can separate it a bit more from the top and bottom. Just give it a bit of breathing space there. We can give it slightly curled corners if you want to i did on mine as you can see it's giving it slightly rounded corners there we could add 10 pixels or so to the bottom of that as well if we roll back up here to our padding let's give it another 10 pixels on the bottom maybe too much five pixels perhaps yeah that looks about right to me great if you want to, you can add a little bottom border. Now that would look better if I took those corners off. I put that back to zero. So it's got square corners. I go down to our border. We put a three pixel blue border on the bottom. As it types, you've got that border happening there. You could do the same for the top. It's got a little border top and bottom as it's going along there. And of course, if we went straight up to the text at the top, we can align it anywhere we want. If you want to put it in the middle like that, fantastic. If 
And just to offset it, let's put a little image or something behind here in our section. I'll use that same image as I used before. And let's turn that before and after text. White in color. So let's go back into the module itself. Here's the before text. Don't need a background color. Let's make that white. Read that nicely on there. Roll on down. Here's the after text. Roll on down. We'll make that one white also. Fantastic. And as you can see, we can see a little bit of that background image through the dark background we gave that. And that's a really striking thing to have on your website. Fantastic. Well, there we have it. There's how to add a nice little typing effect to your Divi website using the great free Divi Supreme Modules Lite plugin. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's always great to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this today, like I mentioned earlier, I've got a Divi Supreme Modules Lite playlist. It should pop up over here any minute now. Check it out if you want to learn more about it. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.